More relief may be on the way for local restaurants that are still reeling from closures and restrictions caused by the pandemic. Been a tough year for them today. Supervisor Jim Desmond announces a proposal to waive permit fees for all restaurants for the fiscal year. News 8's Chris Grow joining us live now with all these details. Good morning, Chris. And here at Phil's Barbecue, doors just open, diners are going in for some dine and eating. But throughout this pandemic, restaurants have been having to kind of juggle how they're serving customers, leading to a big loss in business. It's gone from takeout only to some outdoor dining to some indoor dining and then all going back to take out. So as we know, restaurants have been hurting during this pandemic. Well, County Supervisor Jim Desmond is proposing relief for the restaurants in San Diego County. That comes in the way of waiving the restaurant safety fees for all eateries this year, something the county imposes. It would save businesses anywhere between $1,000 to $2,000 per business. That's a savings that these restaurants could really use. According to Sandag, in the first week of the pandemic, restaurant foot traffic was down 60 to 70%. And then at the beginning of this year, it was still down 26 to 61% compared to pre-COVID-19 times. While some people may worry this would hinder the county restaurant safety inspections, which some of these fees go to fund, Supervisor Jim Desmond says that the county would still continue to run the inspections and other safety precautions. He also added that not everyone's going to come right back on June 15th or, or even now and go to the restaurants. There's still going to be a, a, you know consumer confidence that has to get built in and that's going to take time. And these restaurants have already taken a beating throughout last year and will continue this year until they can get back and be fully operational. And this is still going to need to be considered by the entire board of supervisors, something that will be brought to them on May 5th. Reporting in Rancho Bernardo, I'm Chris Crow for News 8.